What's up, everyone? Welcome to another live show of Five Idiots Talking Toys. I'm Shane. Thanks very much for hanging out with us on a Sunday night. You can learn everything you need to know about our show right down there in the description if you don't already. We have all of our links to our socials as well as to our Patreon. You can support the show there on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash five idiots talking toys. And we have uh, some member benefits there. You're going to get all of our content a little bit early. You're going to get previews of collectibles that will be for sale on Rogue 5 Toys, our sales page, as well as episodes of Five Idiots After Dark, which are only for Patreon supporters. So thanks for being here. Let's jump into the live stream. Charles is here. Hey, how, how you doing? Good, 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 good. Good. Let's bring in your nephew's cousin. Brandon Alamo is here. Alien. You got to unmute me, Shane. No. There's no weapons on the show. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's that's my alien blaster. Is Repro or? <laughs> um, correct. Correct. Right. All right. John Walden is here. Hello. I like that hat. Thank you. I like that shirt. You got it at um, t-shirts.com. T-shirts.com. Yeah, if you want to get a hat like that, that, don't go to t-shirts.com. Our merch shop is linked in the description below. Go uh, get yourself a t-shirt or a hat. Support the show. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, there Ooh, you go. See? I like that one, too. Christopher is here. Is that a repo? 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 Is that repo? Repo? You got repo. <laughs> yeah. Are they selling repo? <laughs> Chris, are you upset that you're last tonight, or you're satisfied with it? You're fine. How do you feel? It gave, it gave me a few more seconds to sip my coffee, so it's it's good. <laughs> yeah, coffee, sure. It really is coffee. Oh, because you usually fall asleep on the episodes. You mean I I fall asleep yeah. all the time. So you right. put some uh, Irish uh, whiskey in there. <laughs> that would be false. It's no. been a long day, and I can drink a pot of coffee and go to sleep one minute later. It doesn't affect mm -hmm. me. Yeah, I'm the same way. I can I don't drink coffee at night, but if I did, I'd be fine. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm drinking it. It's not like it's going to actually wake me up any more than what I normally no. am. I'm the same way. It doesn't do anything for me anymore. So. No. Darth Wizzy Wizard wants to know so, if it's live. No, nope. this is live. Like, like really, really live? live? Like, it's not live. What's everybody? What's up, everybody, to uh, the chat? Like, really live. Like, really live chat we have. <laughs> It's like half live. <laughs> half live. Half live. Who could that be? <laughs> Facebook user. Oh, will you stop? Come on, oh, guys. This, Jesus. This has been happening on other groups that I've been on where they do a live and their names don't show up. Yeah. It's because they're commenting on they comment our, on Facebook. On Facebook. Not they're not on YouTube. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, I mean, yeah. on Facebook, lot people have been jumping on through a, like a Facebook group, and they haven't been um, like they're not on YouTube. So, in, in other words, this group is not on YouTube; they're only on Facebook. And when they go live, the same thing happens. Yeah, it's this Facebook oh, user, and people have to type their name next to their comment so people know who it is. It's so annoying. But oh, do you love it yeah. though? It do Do you love it? Do I love what? Do you love it? Oh, I, I love it. It's reminding me of that guy that posts in the uh, Death Star gift shop. Oh, <laughs> do you love tapes? Do you love video? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you love Star Wars? I wow. Never, I, just, I never understand. He's very formal. His name is Joshua Crouch now. Oh, wow. Oh, my. <laughs> thank you, Darth Wizzy Wiz, for thank the. Thank you, Darth. Yes, thank, thank you, Darth. Darth. Super chat. Um, so, yes, we are live now. Now that you pay. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what it is, is we use the streaming software that connects to Facebook, but you, because of privacy matters, you have to like go to a certain link and, and allow the streaming software to show your picture and your, and your name. So there's a way to do that. It's a simple click. It's like two clicks, but for anybody who hasn't done that yet, yeah, it's going to show uh, no name. So that must've been Adam. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, Coach. All right, you Coach Adam. is Coach Chitwood. We need to have Adam back on as a sixth idiot. I don't know what the hell's taking us so long. 
Well, he but he's a mo- he's a admin now. He can't do things like this. Yeah. He's <laughs> actually very he's busy now. Very busy. Yeah, so coaching. busy. What are you coaching, so Adam? He's now the busiest he's man won. in all of Georgia. He, he, he overtook John. I think he's coaching on he the ice. Pizza. <laughs> yeah, what does he coach? <laughs> Brand, what does he say? He's a coach for the IC. I see him as a uh, football coach. I see him as like a hacky sack coach. Like a scream. Oh, he's a screamer. Hacky it's got to be football. I see him <laughs> as like either hockey. He screams at everybody. It's got to be football. Either hockey or cheerleading. Hockey oh. or cheerleading. See, and I was going to say basketball. <clears throat> Complete opposite. There you go. High school football, 10 years. Mm-hmm. What's up, Gary? Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. He also said, shut your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shut your face. <laughs> All right. Well, w- welcome to everybody who's here. We've got a whole pile of people in here now. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to a show about nothing. How is that different than every week? I love these shows about nothing. It's the same thing as every other weekend. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. We have a topic every week. (sighs) Somehow we manage. While we get there. Yeah. So negative. Let's see. Who else is here? Jason Woods is here. Sorry, I just overrode whoever was on the screen. Was that Gary Moore? (laughs) It was Gary Feathers. Gary Feathers. Uh, Greg Snow's here. Lynette Snow's here. Hello. What's up? Hey. Oh, Chris, your daddy's here. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, daddy. 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 Isn't he in like Indonesia right now on a on like a two week trip? I don't yeah. think he's even home right now. Doesn't matter. Can't get enough. It's five a.m. wherever he is. Thanks, Michael, for joining. Thanks for being here. It's uh, it's probably yeah. It's the, I don't know what time it is over there, but it can't be can't be too early. Yeah. Corey's here. What's up? What is oh, on? Corey's leaving. <laughs> oh, hi and bye. Yeah. Why is he leaving? James Thanks, Gunther, Corey. welcome. Do you love live? Do you love me posting every day about do you love? <laughs> Joshua's here. What's up? And uh, let's see. Adam Gothard is here. I think we're getting caught up here. <clears throat> What's up, Adam? Adam. We- Adam. Adam, your uh, figures you make are just absolutely awesome. He was featured in an episode this oh, yeah. past week, right? Yeah. 12, the 12 so inch cool. um, 3D no, no. customs you make? Yep. Oh, oh. One of them hasn't shown yet. Yeah, it hasn't aired yet. Oh. But I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that you're going to make a uh, certain favorite figure focus of mine. Yeah. I think mm. Chris doesn't collect anymore, so just send it my way. Yeah. <laughs> He'll turn around and sell it right on the site. No problem. Uh, how dare you? I would never do that to Adam. <laughs> Garage sale uh, Sunday. When I mean, you sell yeah. all the stuff yeah. that everyone gives you for free. God. <laughs> you should actually, so Brandon, from now on, on Saturdays, before you start your grid, your garage sale Saturday, yeah. take, a, take a picture of the milk crates first. Filled with the junk, and then show it afterwards after you sell it. Like the picture that I sent you guys the other day. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The giant box full of. I think it's hysterical stuff. My favorite part was how it was a box full of garbage, and he picked the one vintage figure and like sprawled them out on top to show us. <laughs> well, Don't worry, there's vintage. Well, that, that, that was the only vintage stuff that I could pick up because yeah, I mean, here's, here is the box is next to me right now. Here, I'll just show you like. And the best part about it is talking that... about Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that one. He Django, sends us right? he sends us the picture at like eight thirty in the morning, which means it's five thirty his time. Is he like is like are you going out for garage sales at three o'clock in the morning out in California? Uh no, more like four thirty. Oh <laughs> That's crazy. No, I don't go out for garage sales. I was gonna actually uh ask you to go to one, Chris. We gotta wake up like five o'clock in the morning. What's up, Benny? We actually have one on Long Island. Like a huge freaking flea market. Like it's one of the largest in the world. Really? Really? Yeah. It's like an hour and a half away from our house. I'm shocked. When yeah, is it? Django's? Every Sunday for the next six months. Helmet oh, on, no helmet. Okay, okay, okay. Helmet on, no helmet. It was a very nice. Nice. Is uh, 
The one on your well, if I'm looking at you, what? no, uh, the other one. This one? Uh, yeah, yeah. Does his head come off or no? <laughs> does does that one of them come off? Is that the one, one that Landon loved? His head comes off. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that the one that Landon loved growing up with the yes. head? Yeah. yeah, he still has it. I don't think that's the one now. Hey, here's some uh, here's some breaking news. Hey, Brandon. Uh, just let your family know yeah. uh, you're on live and uh, not to you know. Not to bother you. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently they don't they don't they don't listen to the rules here. Here's another one. <laughs> well, I didn't know I didn't know that I had two of these guys. I don't know. There's just a box full of this stuff. Here's one for uh, Adam G. Oh nice. There you go. Oh nice. Oh, that's, I a, can, that's a good looking figure. I can guarantee you Adam has seven of those. <laughs> Adam, how is the how is the uh, the ERG like black series? I'm trying to think of like what would be the most detailed with like real cloth and whatnot. Like, what's the best Emperor's Royal Guard figure that that you've that you've had so far? Like, you know, sculpt and like fit and finish and accessories. Because it's a really good looking figure. I was always in love with that. Mister Pickle. That's worth is, money, apparently. One of the bar patrons. Who is that? Oh, from from the first movie. What's his name? Let me say. Cantina encounter Feltipern Travag. I don't know. He's worth. Do the what? The... Oh yeah, yeah. That I know that. that that guy's got the like bug face, but like <clears throat> the rabbit bug. That chest of molesta. <laughs> <laughs> He's worth something. I don't know. Adam, you you collect m some modern stuff, don't you? Yeah, he uh, Adam collects. I think anything that's ERG. And, no, no, no. I mean, Chitwood said, "What is it with this modern oh. crap?" I, he has got some modern stuff, doesn't he? He collects everything. Yeah, he loves. Everything. Chitwood collects anything. Yeah. Anything. He's anything. like Brandon, basically. <laughs> Actually, Brandon is probably worse. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon is actually by far the worst that I know. Oh, yes. Okay, even uh, okay. coloring book. That's vintage. Yeah, that's cool. Every time someone messages me and says, hey, do you have a Yoda cane? Do you have a Palace Blaster? Do you have this or that? I always go, nope. But if you message Brandon, guarantee you that he has 19 of them. <laughs> uh, so Chitwood is pure vintage then. No modern. Okay. All right. It, here's a little tip. In the next however many years, all these youngings, their vintage will be this modern stuff oh yeah. it's already like already uh, like uh episode one vintage, is considered uh, vintage to a, like a lot of people yeah, Phantom, uh, yeah like the phantom menace kind of stuff. stuff you know whatever this kind of stuff for sale garage sale saturday yeah that's cool whatever bunch of stuff i don't know <laughs> i'm really hoping that you put out some beanie babies <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> well, that's not a. That's actually like a good one, though. <laughs> what, what about the smart? Care Bear, Chris? Did you like the Care Bear? I love the Care Bear. Yeah. So Brandon messaged me, and he was like, "Do you think I should list this on the page?" And I said, "One hundred percent, absolutely, one hundred percent." Because yeah. I love, I love just seeing it. Like, because my my sister had that growing up, and obviously Charles and I didn't play with it, but I remember seeing them as a kid. I have something in that vein that I bought for our page, and I haven't sold John? it yet, obviously, but... John? i got to show you guys. Ooh, what is that? that? Is that a, a card? Back? Mamba. Card back? It's a card back? It's a bag full of card backs and boxes and uh, oh, books boy. in there. You just, you just buy anything and everything. Oh, nice. Oh, man. I got all this. Those... I got I all this. Money. So everything I'm showing you, I got from the flea market from a buddy of mine that sells a bunch of stuff out there. He just I could tell you where to sell that. Loaded a whole box for me and said, "Hey, I think you would probably appreciate all the stuff in this box." Yeah. Sell it to Toy Federation. That guy loves those old school boxes, like masks and I mean, stuff. Old Motu card backs from the '80s. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> I would have bought Is those. Going to be at uh, the IC this year. They were last year, and I, I had no idea that they were even there. Yeah. What else did I get? Oh, look. <clears throat> Chris will appreciate this one. If I can find it. Take your time, Brandon, because we're not live or anything. Oh, this yeah, is no, show. oh, did we have a topic? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you made the topic. It's, it's all about you. Know. Apparently, it's called <laughs> rummage sale. Ooh. I like Total that. Recall. Total yeah. Recall. Do you love video games? Do you love great video games? I watched Total Recall not that long ago, like in the last like six months. I hadn't yeah, seen I, it. I hadn't seen it in a while. And you watched the remake? No, I didn't watch the remake. I heard it was not good, though, right? I liked it. I th- I, oh, yeah? I it was, yeah, I, I didn't think it was bad. Colin what Farrell. was that show? You know what? I want to interrupt. What was the show that you told me that I have to watch recently? Because I'm almost ready for a new show. Silo. Silo. No, Silo I love. I'm There's done with Charles. Silo. I did. I listened to you on that one, Silo. It's awesome. Um, oh, so I'll buy that for you, Brandon. I'm trying to think. Is the minifigure worth anything? Probably not. I don't really know Avengers, but... I'll buy it. I'm um, I'm in I'm in like season six of Game of Thrones now. It's absolutely amazing. It's so much better it now than it was better. the first time. Yep. How about, you don't have to wait. Here's another one for Charles. How about Fallout? Fallout? Have you seen Fallout yet? No, I didn't watch Fallout yet. But I was trying to remember what Chris told me. Not Ooh, Prison my, Break. It was my, a, it was the other one. It wasn't Lost. Prison Break. Yeah, Lost and Prison Break. I, I haven't seen. But you told me something else that I did want to go to has anyone started fallout or no i was gonna actually start it tonight after the show so i watched the first was good i watched the first three and people that know the game i think are really liking it from what i see yeah, so, yeah. yeah i don't know the game it's just like it is like overly fake obviously uh, we all know it's fake but it's like just like it's a step like over what it should be but it's like okay Joe. Yeah, Josh. Josh, it's it. Oh, Solo, or you're you mean Silo? Yeah, Silo. yeah you mean Silo. Silo is is so good. Charles totally. I told Charles this. He totally redeemed. Yeah, first time. Even if he made one bad recommendation, he redeemed himself tenfold. <clears throat> obviously, it's so good. Obviously, uh, Fallout was out first, but like Fallout is kind of like Silo, in a way. Yeah, I, I, I once I started watching it, I saw exactly what you meant. It yeah. really is just very make sure that like. if anyone watches Silo, you watch the right Silo. It's the one that's yes. on Apple TV. Yeah. It's the newer, newer one. Newer. Yeah, that's Rambone. Cool. Actually, so now that's awesome. I think Josh would actually would love that Rambone. Yeah. So some I got a bunch of these coloring books. Some of them are already colored in. One of them, I was just thumbing through it, and I saw. Um, the kid had written his own, uh, basically, you know, a box with words in it or whatever. And he was commenting. He's like, oh, shit, look at what's coming now. And it's just like, wow, this little kid is writing curse words in this in this coloring book. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Charles. Yeah. Why not? I'm always up for a curse. It's in the Voltron book. Oh, oh nice. Oh, Sweet. Cool book. I'd never even I'd never even seen that. I mean, I don't, maybe I saw it when I was a kid, but I can't remember back that far. So this kid, obviously, <laughs> he colored actually pretty well. I might have been good. his yeah. mother or something, but... Uh, this guy was probably like 39 years old. <laughs> yeah. right in there. Is this Walden's when he was uh, 40? <laughs> Let me see where he wrote it. It's pretty funny. Let's see. Um, where you write it at? What's Mayor of East Town? Is that the the Taylor Sheridan show too? Never heard of it. Or no, I'm thinking of um, what's the one that Sylvester it's Sloan is in? I think. In it. Yeah, Mayor of East Town is Jeremy Renner, right? Josh is saying love Sly because of Rambo, but um, what's the what's the Taylor Sheridan show that that uh, something of Sly's Tulsa. in? Oh. Tulsa King, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was I was about to start that. Oh shit! Wow, she's gorgeous. That's not a kid. That's not a kid. <laughs> hey Brandon, that ain't no kid writing that. That's good handwriting. Yo, we that that's a T-shirt right there. You get a drawing of Voltron. Maybe. You say, "Oh shit! Wow, she's gorgeous." <laughs> When you sell that book, you should list it on that page, just showing that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's... 
my little Nintendo ball. I got his ear. <laughs> Have you ever played RBI baseball? On big screen. Ah, uh, let go. God. RBI right. baseball. Cecil Fielder, a Detroit Tigers <laughs> best team. Here's another good one. Where is it? The, yeah, I don't know if I would sell this. This is a this is a piece of artwork here. That's not a kid. Brother, I haven't eaten in two days. Can you spare a dime? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you writing that in a coloring book? I don't know, I but don't it's fantastic. It. We should that's scan cool. those, though. We should scan them and do something with them. That's really good coloring and, like, really good writing. That's no kidding. Right. It's, pretty, it's pretty good. Voltron coloring book. Coming yeah, up hold soon. on to that. we got to scan that. Coming up for sale soon. Very nice. Is this going to be a new segment now going forward by you every Saturday? or? Oh, now that it's yeah, springtime? I, I have so much stuff. Okay. Um, people love it. No, because so honestly, much. people love it. He He's listening to these things, especially the uh, roller skates. I felt like you listed those so cheap. Like shipping had to be $30 alone. They're very cheap. Yeah. Adam bought it. He's got a huge box here anyway, so we'll see what happens. Adam loves buying stuff. Loves well, I mean, that's like that's like a really well had ERGs on it, so that that's like right up his alley. Oh, oh, uh, Gothard bought it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. that's an, like an ultimate oddball. I mean, that's a it's a cool thing, but it's I never saw. Ever besides saw putting them on a shelf, what do you do? Star Wars roller skates. That's where it's at. RBI baseball, yep. NL All Star I mean, team, GoBots. Yep. Were you guys aware Transformers? Were you guys aware at the time, like when you got a GoBot? I don't know if you guys ever got GoBots, but I don't remember. When you were getting them, like did you were you aware that it was like the cheapy dollar store ripoff version of I mean it wasn't dollar store. What is it? Is it Sears or JC Penny or something? Sold them? GoBots? But like were you aware that they were the the ripoff Transformers or no? Um I I no, I think I just played with it them. It's worth money game. though. Yeah, I mean, I I had GoBots and Transformers. I had more Transformers, but I don't remember being. A, I just remember being aware that it was a different franchise. Like, not that it was the cheap ripoff version, but we that's what it was. GoBots. I don't really remember that. And if I, you know, and if we had it, Charles definitely sold them at the comic book store and made money with that. So <laughs> I we had probably, GoBots. I probably didn't play with those as a kid. We didn't have any Transformers. I mean, not that many. Yeah, it was. Who who made go who made GoBots? Forget. Oh, that's cool. Punch out any, book. Any I've possible. seen that. Yeah. So, where are you buying this stuff, Brandon? That's are a lot of stuff. Like houses, or are you going to like a flea market? No, this is all flea market. Okay, that's what I figured. Wow. I we got to go, go Chris. To flea I have a buddy that sells out there, and he I help him set up, and I just get all this. Cool stuff from them. So, when's when's the flea market, Charles? It's <laughs> every Sunday, um, from April through October. It just opened like a few weeks ago. It was the first week. Close okay. to you guys? Yeah, I think it said it's the largest in the United States or something. I'll look it back up, but oh man, it's very very big though. Yeah, I was just looking it up, and uh, I see there's a, a few answers in here already. Yeah, Tonka made GoBots as a competitor for uh, for Hasbro's Transformers. And then I see a note here that, that GoBots became the intellectual property of Hasbro when they bought out Tonka in 91. Oh, so really? it wasn't that long after that they bought them out. But uh, I mean, you guys would probably appreciate some of these. Some of these, I don't even know what they are. But, um, but GoBots were way cheaper. RoboCop. Hmm. I don't know if you guys know Dual Face Monster. Is that is that a thing? No, no but I'm. Sh- but there's a lot of people that like horror stuff, so that would be good anyway. Dual Face Monster stuff. I mean, here's all of them. I don't know, but uh, what are you gonna do with that though? Put it up for sale, man. Like X Frog. X Froggy flips. He'll buy that. Yeah, that's, well, that's I'm, I'm farty flips. So when you see that on YouTube, farty flips. Farty I'm farty flips. flips. So I walk up instead of with a stack of money, I walk up with a bag of change. <laughs> do you do you guys see the reels of the the guy walking around in Central Park in New York City like farting as he walks past people? 
Yeah. Do you get sucked no. into those? Not really. No. Creepy crawlers. Creepy no. crawlers. I remember creepy crawlers. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, creepy crawlers was the boy version of Easy Bake of Oven. Like you could make like gummy worms in an oven, and it was creepy crawlers. That was how it first came out. Socket poppers. I mean, where do, where do they find all this stuff? Where does Brandon find all this stuff? What is Brandon going to do with all this stuff? Uh, yeah. That's the question. You know that when he sleeps at nighttime in bed, it's just surrounded by cardboard all over him? Like, I'm that's, in, a, that's his blanket the right there. Thing. He puts six of those together, and that's his blanket tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's he's going to sleep in the backyard tonight because know, people, his wife saw that he brought home all this garbage. People, oh, she didn't see it. People... Uh, <laughs> She was away when I pulled the box out of the car. Here's typical <laughs> Brandon. If I would have saved all the messages uh, from Brandon, just making fun of me about card backs and cardboard and, mm -hmm. and just like <laughs> just like laughing at me and mm -hmm. all this. And he has more than I do. Way more than you do. That is, okay, 30th anniversary, yeah. What does that mean? 2014. Came out in 2014. Gotcha. But this one's not, right? Hello. This is an original one. Thank you, Star Wars Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. I think. Take yeah. Money. Flip 25th. around the back. When is it coming out? Is it coming out May 4th or is it a little bit later in May? I think it comes out May 4th for the week. Okay. 1985. Yep. Star Wars Daddy messaged me earlier today. It was a little disturbing his message. I'm I'm not going to repeat what he what he said mm. unless he replies back saying it's okay for me to say it. <laughs> so if you're still listening, let me know if you want me to let everyone else know. What what do you got which which prequel movie do you guys like the best between 1, 2 and 3? None of them. I know, I know, but you know which. If you were comparing um, the three, really, the third one by far. Yeah. I actually liked the third one. I, I actually didn't think it was bad at all. Uh, the third one was was good. What was yeah. it like Re Revenge of the Sith or whatever it's called or something? Yeah, I, I liked the first one because I I do remember you know how big of a deal it was that they were coming out with another one. I remember going standing in line at the theater. Nice. Night I love the I love the pod racing scene. Just because then it turned into the N64 game, Star Wars Racer. And that was a really fun game to play, like multiplayer with, uh, like when you're playing Bond. Play Bond, play Racer. People love the A-Team. I was really surprised to see Mighty how many Mercedes. people collect the A-Team. A-Team and Knight Rider and... See, you guys are young for A-Team. Breaker Gadget. Look at this crap. You, you don't remember really watching it much, do you? I don't. A yeah, I mean, I that. sat and watched it every week. Like it was a, it. it was a big TV show for for my kids my age. We'd go to school and be Maybe talking like about it. Pepsi, there's a Pepsi sealed Hot Wheels car. Dukes of Hazard, A Team, those were big shows for for me. Oh, MacGyver. Watch what's the, MacGyver. the um, what? What's the white bag floating above Brandon's head? Someone wants to know. That's from uh, uh, American Beauty. He got that. Uh, it's a it's a movie memorabilia. Correct. The it's the bag from the movie. Speaking of General Lee. Oh, there you go. There we go. Nice. Nice. That's shiny. Very cool. Yes, I know <clears throat> Charles. <coughs> Snow Trooper. Oh, nice. Garbage. <laughs> it's gonna be worth thirty-seven dollars in five years. You heard it here first. It won't. It'll stay Hot at three dollars forever. <laughs> Red line, nice. That's a cool. One. I have a question for the chat. Uh, John is. I think he's going to be starting to bring uh, a lot of stuff that he has from the store yep. to Rogue Five Toys. Do you guys prefer? All claim sale, like like all on one post. Do you like just to see things posted, or maybe if just a few things posted with photos together? 
it's hard to tell what might be easier for people or what might do better but uh i'm just curious what do people prefer because uh like john i you know like i saw your post and i was like oh i wonder what's in there so of course i open it but i don't know i like to see those pictures pop up in my feed like yeah, that catches my eye you know to me whenever i see those i hate clicking on them and scrolling through everything oh, there's too many so, comments and stuff so i just get lost through the comments and i stop yeah but john actually should take a minute or two and explain what he's going to be doing on the page soon yeah john you with can his take new, the with his new life venture that's going on. <laughs> you can take the screen so I can pick my nose. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm going to occasionally post some stuff that's just not Star Wars related. Um, Good. To our Rogue Five page. But, I mean, um, we still have a store open. So, you know, the, the online store is open and running and, and kicking. So... Um, uh probably still going to be doing a lot of sales through that but a majority of the sales through that but occasionally i'm going to be bringing some stuff um over to rogue five toys stuff that's not vintage star wars related because which is good though it's good you know, yeah we want to mix it up if, most of the people who are on our page on they love uh, vintage star wars but they also have a focus or you know like other stuff so mm -hmm. yeah i mean that's why i've been selling all the garage sales stuff on there because people that they also collect other stuff the only thing i don't get is you're not actually going to a garage sale so it's my garage sale <laughs> trust it's me man if i was garage sales around here i would be selling clothes and socks on on our page you should There's nothing but garbage at these garage sales that i've been to and yard sales here really so very sure. rarely I mean, do i find something i don't know <clears throat> about you guys but like i really don't have a lot of garage sales by my house like i never i never see them i don't see there's signs a couple here. i don't see anything there's a couple here and i've gone by them or whatever i don't know if they have stuff in the morning i go by later and i look and it's nothing but like glass like mugs coffee mugs yeah. glass old clothes picture frames it's the same thing in my town it's all it's garbage like, i mean well, if you're lucky you'll find maybe a tool here or there that you could use yeah. as you know like as a homeowner or you'll find like uh my wedding china set from 50 years no, ago but you, you might find something like that you see that you're like oh you know like like I, sometimes there's contractors around my area that will put out stuff that's brand new like they just have boxes of stuff that they bought as a contractor so like I'll see like a brand new sprinkler or something like that like oh for two bucks I maybe I could use a new sprinkler, or a hose or something or or an extension cord but that's about it. People love my house like people stalk my house the amount of stuff that I just throw out and I <laughs> and I set it up on the curb. I threw out two fire extinguishers like just the other day. They needed to be like repressurized, re and my wife was like, "Why are you putting those on the curb?" I go, "Lisa, watch." Within one hour, they will be gone. Ow. Within ah, half an hour, gone. Just gone. And then I put out a ton of books and DVDs the week before. Oh, my God. On is a John, table. Is John What's okay? Over there? Oh, I got a hammy cramp. <laughs> <laughs> what? A hammy cramp. A hammy cramp. A hammy cramp. <coughs> a hammy cramp. Yeah. <clears throat> How'd you do that? Did you? We need you we need something? like a dictionary from like some of these sayings, like from Georgia. hamstring cramp. Got I got a hammer cramp. That usually you means call that, like you, a that horse. you didn't drink enough water today. A Charlie horse is a brew. Is like a pump knot. A what? A oh, pump, knot. <laughs> a pump knot. Come on, Adam. Let him know what a pump knot. Is. <laughs> How did... as, as he chugs Dr. Pepper to make himself feel better. If you and Chit would know what this one word means, I don't think he won't even admit it. I don't think he doesn't want to be included in actually knowing what this is. There you go, Charlie Horse. Yeah, there you go. It's Charlie Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Uh... <laughs> Rogue Five Hammy Cramp. 
I was waiting for Chris to stop talking, and John was Sorry. literally dying, and Chris just kept <laughs> motoring along. Because John's usually dying on every episode, so it's just, it's it's usual. Oh, I thought he's a appendix burst or something like that. <laughs> he had like a hernia or something. No. Uh, I, I, whatever you were saying, Chris, I completely was not paying attention. I lost everything. I don't think I was paying attention. <laughs> this is for uh, Chris and Brandon. Uh, yes, but you have to wait for a future episode. Yep. Um, I would say no. I have no room for anything right now. It's just zero. Were you watch? Were you watching in the beginning? Because I was doing something with one of my pickups. No. I have right now. I have sixteen Lily Letty Overstock heads coming from CAS, where it's just a head graded in the case. So those are going to be coming back, and I'm already like looking around, and I'm just like, where the hell am I putting these stupid things? Mm-hmm. Like, and why am oh, I the only anywhere. idiot collecting heads? Like, this is where I'm at in my life. I'm collecting heads. No body. It's just a head. They're the, they're the same size as, like, a Lego, so you can just do what Charles does behind them and just put I, them on display. No, but, like, I literally – I don't have a room anymore. Like, the kids took over everything. You don't have a shelf above, above right where the desk is? Um, yeah, it says live, laugh, live, laugh, and bark. <laughs> Well, you don't even have a dog, so why don't you just get rid of that? Well, and, I did because I had my dog. I had my dog in it, and, oh. then there's, and then there's pictures of everything else. So I don't think my wife's gonna want a Lily Letty head next to it. It's not sixteen of them. That's <laughs> just one. Can't just put one. Live, laugh. Oh, head. that's my dog. Fun well, how big's how big's the shelf? Um, I mean. It's three shells filled with garbage. Well, split it up. I mean, we have a globe here, which I don't think has ever been spun and used ever. There's a, <laughs> there's a clock that says 2.30. There's a um, – we have the date that says um, January 3rd because we don't move the stupid numbers around every every single day. So it's just stuff that, like, oh. makes – I don't know. That, that sounds like something that should go out on the curb. Yeah. yeah. That uh, looks like no, curb worthy like to me. Were... Just like John said, my wife is really big into staging things. So, like, I, I feel like my house sometimes is just staged with fake stuff. It's like, not, right. it's not real. It's staged for the next people who are going to move in. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. It's just staged. <laughs> Leave your, well, they'll appreciate the heads. <laughs> <laughs> Only if Star Wars Daddy is going to come to the open you, house. Seen shrunken heads. Do you actually think he's displaying 16 heads? Those 16 heads would be sold on Rogue Five Toys faster than anything. So fast. So fast. <laughs> like, really? Well, they they actually were bought and done for my personal collection. But then I realized that just my personal collection is sitting in boxes. Yeah, in what personal attic. collection? You quit. You retired already. I didn't retire. I just have nowhere to put it. Why? See, right now it's like... I'm not gonna buy stuff and just put it in a box and stick it away in a closet. Like, I just yeah, find, you need a closet like Charles. I find it stupid. Like, I want to buy stuff. I want to display it. I want to enjoy it. If I put can't it look Charles's at house. it and enjoy, it'll it. never, it'll never happen. Put it behind. Put it at Charles's house. I know it's not. There, I know it's not. There is no displaying. Like, I know that's no why one, I'm not buying anything anymore. Look where Brandon is. He's in the garage. Now, like, we don't see what he's looking at, but he's looking at a Honda Civic, and his laptop is on the hood of it. That's what he's looking at. 100%. He won't show us, but he's in a garage. Right. That's pretty sad. Charles, Charles has a closet that looks like he's playing Tetris, and he's about to lose any second. It's just <laughs> stacked all the way to the top. One more there's, block, and the game is over. There's nowhere else to put it, though. Like, what are you going to do? No, no one cares about Star Wars at my house. The only person here, my son does, but like one, the only person here that's winning at this is John because he's got a house to himself. Yeah, he can just do whatever yeah. the hell he wants in he's whatever room he wants. The whole house, he can display who, everything. So we should just wife, send it all to him. Whose wife wants sixteen Lily Letty heads braided <laughs> on any shelf in their house? No one does. I you had a couple really loose figures on. on the counter the other day that I was packing up to ship, and my wife lost it. She's Could, like, get this shit out of the house. She's like, it's migrating from where you do your stuff all the way over here 
I don't want it in this house anymore. And I'm like, okay. And then she, she didn't realize that the Gamorrean guard that I got from, uh, oh God, what's his name? Shane, you know, him, the, the guy that does the sculpting. Oh, 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 from, uh, Fernando. Yeah. Fernando, Fernando Diaz. I mm-hmm. have, I have a Gamorrean guard that he, that I bought from him and it's on the shelves by the pictures, but it's in the back and you can't see, she can't see it because it's high <laughs> up. So she doesn't realize that's in there. <laughs> This is this is like like not a lie. So Chris like saw it too. We went to Hugh's house. Hugh just has stuff yeah. in his like cabinets. Like he has like yeah. uh, the kitchen plates and like knives and all this stuff is in drawers. There's like a Luke Skywalker with a lightsaber. Yeah, yeah he, <laughs> it's everywhere. So we went to Hugh's house and he was making us wings and me and Charles were like looking through his loose figures and going through the accessories and just matching things up and we go into the kitchen and no joke he opened up the cabinet and there was a luke stormtrooper with a helmet just sitting like next to plates and stuff and then the next shelf there was other figures and in my head i'm like if my wife opened up like our kitchen cabinets and saw star wars toys in there she would just throw it out like (laughs) that window they're (laughs) everywhere so he had us over when she was away for the weekend and he just he has just tons of stuff so he didn't just put it out to mess with you guys like while she was away? No, we were oh. there to help him sort things and pack yeah. things away because it's just he's, everywhere. He's a um uh the show like hoarders. Yeah. That's him with vintage dollars. Oh my god. It's ridiculous how much stuff he has. Yeah. It's all over the place. Well, just to illustrate and back up your point, Charles, I have a box, and I told you guys this guys this already, but <clears throat> I have a box from um ian who does the acrylics i have a a a box it's like four feet long and then like two foot square and i i finally opened the seal because it's been sitting in my house for eight eight months now and i know i know what's in there Hopefully nothing's broken, but I didn't even bother opening it because it's all cases to display mocks. And right now I kind of have like them stacked nicely. I know that as soon as I put them in the cases, then I have to display them. These shelves are overflowing. I have nowhere to display them. I'd have to take apart this whole thing. I, I feel like you have so much room back there, Shane. Like you have a whole room. You, it's, it's not you, a huge room. You haven't sold anything in a long time. I know. But I haven't bought a lot either. Like the, the things I've showed you on Wins and Whiffs were expensive things, but they're like small, you know, small things that are in a focus. And stuff you got last summer that hasn't no opened. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just looking for the Lily Letty um, Leia. I don't remember if I – I might. I think I put it back Mo- there on the shelf, like, but – Most like Star Wars collectors, like they have an itch <clears throat> and they buy something – and the itch is gone, and they have it for a few months, and then they sell it. It seems like Shane always has an itch. He can never scratch it. It's he's I, itchy all over. Whenever I, mean, I bought this beard, stuff, he's always scratching that beard. Whenever I bought this stuff, I had like an, like a picture in my head of having like nice glass cabinets with lights, and even for the the junk, you know, like the tchotchke junk, like I just had like a picture in my head of like setting up some pieces. Of like the different stuff, either I remember from as a kid or just that I like, you know, with enough space to space it out. That is so never happening. Where would you have cases and cases to display, like you know, oddball stuff and, and mean, like coloring books and stuff? You you would never going to display that. I had one whole room upstairs where there was three display cases, and then shelves from Home Depot where like the build a box stuff was. And then my wife had like her little section for the computer and it was fine. Like, honestly, it worked out great. I was able to display and see my whole collection every day. But then when the baby came in December, he took over that room and everything either got sold or it just got packed away into boxes. Yeah. You have a lot of room though, Shane, like compared to like me, Chris and Brandon, you have a lot of room back there. Yeah, I mean, I have one, two, three. I have six bookshelves, six bookcases behind me. That's crazy. I want one shelf. That's all I want is one shelf. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that part of the room before. (laughs) 
Shane always shows us like his like thigh. What's up? He'll What's never that? go higher. What's that? Oh, this is this is my this is my desk. That. I've never what? seen on your right. This yeah. this stuff is all for sale. Where? It looks like it. Where's Where it for it? sale? Where's it for sale? <laughs> it's for sale right here. <laughs> it's it's not even it's not my collection. This is all stuff that was bought for no like live in. sales. You have a sign. I don't know how, like, how much I could pick for sale. So he basically just reaches his hand up and does a live here, sale. Oh, here. You know what right. I could do? Hold on a second. Let's do a live here, sale. Let's do here. a real live sale. Put Here's it up. what's Let's next. Oh. oh, my God. There goes Prune Face. Oh, that's $2 less. That's Prune Face. This reminds me of like my mother's house where you can't even touch the freaking oh. fridge handle before knocking something over. All right. Let's see how much I can get. <laughs> like I can't even show you how many what? figures there are. There's a lot. Why wouldn't you ride? Look the at all those figures. Sell that on Rogue Five. I can't lift I would, up my can't my I can't lift up my computer anymore. But I would be surfing here, all day selling that on Rogue Five. FX Seven ballooned to fifty dollars a figure, and you yeah. missed the whole wave of that. Now he's now back, back down to, to four dollars. <laughs> <Four dollars. laughs> yeah, this is all stuff like because I so I'm facing you know my my camera here and I my computer and I've got a window behind me and. I have another screen over here right next to it. This is where I work too. But then right here, like I literally sit like this when I'm doing the live sale and I set everything up on the counter. Like my counter is a mess right now, but I have a whole counter here. So How do you I have I have all this stuff so that like when I do a live sale, which has been forever, I can pull figures down like like right How there. They're ready work? to go. All these I have, have like 200 figures here. They're ready to go. I don't even see where do you have workspace? I have <laughs> my mess. My desk is a mess right now because I'm just going well, through do do? through bills you, and stuff. Yeah, but you like draw stuff and all that. Oh, it's all computer work, man. Oh, it's all uh, graphic design on computer. No, no, no. It's all Photoshop. And... So he's complaining about having six bookshelves that are full, and all I want is one actual shelf to display. That's heads. It. Yeah, yeah. He wants well, to display sixteen heads. We we have uh, you know, we have four bedrooms, and this is one of them, and this is my office. You know, I've got two kids, so I have an, I have a room. Yeah, I'm really thankful I have a room to. But I I mean I'm I'm in here every day working. Like, how big is that room? You have six bookshelves. It's um, it's not a that, big room. I would say it's maybe is like, like fifteen by eight. That's it. It's not like a huge room. Like See, the wall behind me is 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 only like. It's only like eight feet wide, this room. Hmm. And it's it's like 15 feet long, but... I had to buy these three-tier shelves just to fit three of the heads onto each shelf <laughs> because I don't have any room to put anything. That's a prune face. This is the cloud car pilot one, just a head. You know, and then... Yeah, they couldn't make the cases a little bit bigger? Do you know how, like, embarrassing, though, it is? Like, when my wife comes over... And she has her friends, and then all the kids are downstairs in the basement. And then they go to my wife. Why does your husband have heads encased into like acrylic? Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. It, of course it's. <laughs> <laughs> but but I love it though. I'm up to like twenty something now. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you find something fun, it's fun to collect <clears throat> them. I wish I had a place to actually put them. <laughs> it's like on, it's on top of the toilet bowl right now. I wish I had twenty seven <laughs> bookshelves like Shane does. Well, you know what? I've told this before on the show. These are the same bookshelves I I bought and put put in this room when I was collecting the Black Series. And when I had all the boxes facing forward, it was really fun. I had like a nice display. I enjoyed looking at them all. And then when it got to the point where there were so many that I had to turn the boxes sideways, and all I was looking at was red box ends with the number on it and not like you know you couldn't even see who the figure was or tell who it was all of these shelves i have a picture all of these shelves were completely full of sideways black series boxes and that's when i had to stop i said i can't even see the figures any of them so it was just over then um, but that's how many i had is i had six bookshelves full of black series boxes i mean you you sold them at the perfect time because i, I did have I have two 18 by 18 by 18 boxes of just Black Series stuff right now. And I was listing them on the page for less than $10. Like shipping is actually more than the figure. Yeah. 
and you can't charge less than ten dollars because that's what shipping is just for one of them. Yeah. And I'm charging like six. To, I I just can't get rid of them. I, I'm just gonna literally just do a huge fire in the backyard. Just well, the w- like, was there any? Did you try putting them up in like a you know a, a medium sized lot at all to I see did. if I was you know doing save on like, shipping? I was doing like Sunday steel bundles where I had five of them for. I think it was thirty five dollars shipped, oh twenty five dollars, and no one was buying them. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't even know what to do with them anymore. I, I mean, I, I looked back at like Action Figure Four One One, you know, not that long ago, a couple of months ago, and you know they have the 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 graph on there that charts the price. Yeah. I was like blown away. I, I literally sold them. Not at the, I don't know if it was the height, but I sold them while they were like steady, 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 and then all of a sudden just took you, a nosedive over like a year. You have like. You have like really good luck because you did the same thing with a uh, short V gonk. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he actually set the price for that. Himself, John talked up the short V so much that you know I I put it on deal or no deal, and yeah, uh, like, there was a revolution, short V revolution, and it didn't last long. Short V for life. No, Hashtag. It's, <laughs> it's actually funny if you think about how long it actually lasted. Like it, it completely died. What lasted longer, the ninety-two dollar prune face or the short V? Oh, the, sh- the short V uh, lasted longer. Yeah. The prune face was like for for like four and three quarter days, and we kept telling Chris to sell all the extras he had, and he wouldn't do it when they were ninety-two dollars. Yeah. So you weren't allowed to though. And and you know what I did with them? They're still upstairs in the closet. <laughs> They're in the box. <laughs> Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a good point. You can donate them, you know, especially around Christmas time. I do. I so like I I already do donations all throughout the year to like Matt Neef or Adam G yeah. and Nathaniel Tripp. Whenever or even Cody Shepard, like whenever I send them boxes, I just throw in extra stuff. Yeah, and I yeah. always just say like donate it. Like don't even say it's from me. I don't want any recognition. I don't want my name. Just donate it. Just right. get rid of it. But I'll tell you though, like as as a former collector of those black series, and obviously I used to know the price. I I used to have every single price memorized. Like I, I you know, I was into it that much, and you know, kind of just like we do with vintage. Except you know, at that point there was like you know, hundred and seventy figures or something. When I look at the prices that you were listing them for, I like would fall out of my chair because I oh, remember, gee. and like you kept messaging me, telling me, but I'm like, this is the price though, and they're not selling. I mean, I was se- when I sold my collection. There was ones that I was selling. You wouldn't even believe which ones they were. First, like you know, seventy dollars a piece. Uh, you know, sixty-two dollars a piece. And now even those ones are worth like twenty-four dollars. You know, they have so. some at the store. Some of the stores by my house here, and they just they just do a fire sale once a year, and they just put them all out for like five, ten bucks each, just to move it because <clears> it just sits there. Like yeah, how many? Yeah. How many Lando generals are you gonna have yeah. in your store? You man? can like, sell them literally tons of them everywhere. If you have a table somewhere and you mark them for like five bucks each or ten bucks each, oh yeah, you'll sell them there. It's the shipping part that yeah, yeah, gonna get you. It's so, great. It's great feeder to be at a show to fill up a shelf or a table when you're at a show. But like we're not doing shows. I think we've I think we've already explained that we're probably the five yeah. of us are never going to do a show ever again for the rest of our lives. <laughs> well, no, d- don't don't count John in that. John John didn't. I don't think he signed up so for the that. the four of us are he never going to do a show. He yeah, can drive problem. stuff there. That's easy for him. We have to ship stuff and fly yeah. with stuff. It's a pain. Yeah. Imagine 40 years ago, they were probably having the same discussion with all the peg warmers of all the vintage figures that were sitting out. Two for a dollar, you know, tri logos and and two oh, four dollar yeah. droids figures and imagine that and look what it look what happened yeah. i mean I don't, I don't i don't think this will happen again with you won't see lando general's black series 40 years from now no i don't think so either. They'll still no be, because it'll be the, 50 cents those they droids figures were not produced in humongous yeah. quantities that's the thing is they knew it was already dying down they were you're, ordering more appropriately and even those didn't sell yeah you're saying that and then at the same time they made millions of vintage dollars. Yeah. Millions and millions and millions yeah. and millions. But they didn't survive, though. Like, but I remember yeah. going to the store and seeing um, back in you know later 80s and seeing Yoda on the clearance rack for 50 cents. Yeah. You know, 
Um, yeah, but why didn't you buy piles it? Piles and piles. <laughs> why didn't I buy it? It wasn't brand, as focused then. Why didn't you have 50 cents back then? You buy yeah. every piece of junk now. Because like, now he's he can. Yeah, because I can. He couldn't get the two quarters <laughs> to rub together back then. I mean, even though even all the Power of the Force 2 stuff, I actually love the Power of the Force 2 line. I won't ever tell Jameson that because he's so in love with that stuff. And I just he don't loves like it. it. I don't want to like give it to him. So, but it's great stuff. But it's all it's all worthless. It's all junk. Well, yeah. You say that now. Right? You say that now, but the prices on some of that stuff has started to go up. I don't. I don't on, buy it on some of it. So, I don't buy it. So you're gonna get when the people are forty uh, to fifty years old, they're gonna look back and say, "I had that then," and they're gonna want it. But I, I think they're going to coming skip, up to it soon. They're going to skip Power of the Force two though and go right to the Phantom Menace. That's what I think. Oh, they're already doing that. They're already buying all the Phantom Menace. Stuff. The Phantom yeah, Menace stuff movie. is more, oh, yeah, worth Phantom more Menace than buying. That's yeah. the they, movie that that those kids grew up watching. Mm-hmm. So they said it last year at the toy show. Remember, like when we went to the ICC and we asked people what's yeah. selling the most right now, and everyone said modern. Yeah. Phantom Menace, the uh, the droids, whatever the hell that movie was. And, oh yeah, that's right. They were all, all the guys were saying that, and 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 they were all saying if if we knew this is how the show was going to be, we would have just brought modern and no vintage. Remember, there was a one, there was one booth where the guy was like, uh, you know, within a couple of hours of Nashville, and he was like, I'm sending my guy back, yes, to yeah. load up as much more modern as he can and bring, bring it, it back here for tomorrow. Yeah, we were like. What? So I imagine. I wonder what this year's show is going to look like as far as pe- vendors and what they're going to be selling. You know, all that stuff is going to uh, start flying. I mean, you would think. Well, are we going to go back to pops and modern here? Is that what the show is going to turn into? <clears throat> Probably. <laughs> Whoa. John, John loves pops. I mean, pops I might... modern. That's that's all you see nowadays. Pops were a good seller for, show for you, right? you go to. I might go back to work if that's the case. Yeah, I just want Pop one pop. modern. I want the stupid Donald Trump freaking pop. That's it. I want one. That's it. <laughs> so expensive. Why? How much is it? Like a real one is probably like two hundred bucks. Ooh. So crazy. There's so many fake ones though. Oh yeah, yeah. We're not even sure the real Donald Trump is not fake. How dare you? <laughs> he looks fake. Let's not get political here, Shane. He's got a fake tan. Leave him alone. I'm going to disagree with Mr. Chitwood here. I don't know, man. These I, pop, pops of... I, I thought disagree. pops were the modern day pogs. And it's, this, it's this stuff, and longer. I, I think, I think pops have already outlasted Beanie years. Babies, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've been around for almost 15 years, yeah. yeah. Everybody loves pops. They love the thing about pops is... The different thing about the pops and the beanie babies is pops you don't have to be a collector of anything you just right. have to be a fan of something and there's a pop for that yep. so i i went to WonderCon a few weeks ago in anaheim and people Shocking. were pissed off about it because um he's people were pissed off at WonderCon because they didn't bring funko and, and their pops to have a booth there really um because people only go to the show to buy the exclusive ones from the show. That's the only reason they go to the shows. So yeah, they, and all they have, I mean, back, some are some are back, actually unique, back. and some just have a sticker. But yeah, they'll just they'll just buy bags and bags and bags worth of these pops. Yeah. And they'll wait in line and they'll they'll resell them immediately. And and you know, it's a big industry for for flipping and and all that. Yeah. So, okay. I think Funko has corrected themselves with that whole debacle of them shipping a bunch of stuff to the landfill. And, you know, they just overproduced and overproduced for so many years. Well, yeah. for a couple of years there, at least. Uh, I think they've corrected that, mm. course corrected that stuff. And now they're just kind of like. That was actually good of them. Producing for demand. To, uh, destroy them versus selling them for like a dollar each. They would have killed the value of all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they yeah. just killed the environment instead. <laughs> Whatever. John, didn't you get in like a big pops collection recently? I did. I got a huge pops collection in um, two or three weeks ago, I guess. Maybe four weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, right before the store closed. Um, a bunch of Star Wars pops. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly Star Wars and a lot of Harry Potter pops. 
So are those good sellers? Um, don't know yet because we're still oh. transitioning over to the basement. Harry Potter's got a huge following. And then, yeah, huge. we've got. Huge. I mean, there's boxes over here. There's boxes over here. Because the thing about Harry Potter wall is full of action figures right here. So we transitioned over from from the store to the house. So yeah, you know, we still haven't had time to take pictures and post them. So John, and all that stuff. here's here's an idea. Yeah, and I'm telling you, this is a slam dunk. If you go live on Rogue Five Toys, right, mm -hmm. and you just open up just random boxes and just show <laughs> show stuff that you have, and just say like, "Does anyone want this? Does anyone want this?" and just walk walk through all your stuff. I'm telling you, <laughs> that's what people like. Yeah, they like seeing what you have and you show it. Who, well, wants, so, this? Who yeah. wants this? Oh, you want it? Uh, Fifteen dollars right now. Buy it. Yeah. Well, then you show them that, and they're like, "Do you have a pop up R two?" You know, or do you have any uh, last oh. 17? Well, yeah. I understand. Like, yeah. look through the boxes of all your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You have, you have tons of stuff. Yeah. We do. We have I tons would, of stuff here. I was going to say the thing with Harry Potter is, is, uh, you know, the books came first. My wife loves Harry Potter because she read the books when they came out. So did I. And she read them to like students of hers in school. And then, of course, she loved the movies because she knew the stories, and so she wanted to see the visual of the stories that she really liked. So it's got a whole bunch of fans just from the books, not necessarily the movies, not necessarily, you know, toys or video games or Legos or kids. There's so many different parts of it that, that have different fans. So, and it's, you know, then leading into the comment about the pops, there were all these different Beanie Babies. You could give somebody a Beanie Baby if there was anything remotely, you know, that you thought they would like about whatever animal it was but then you know you get the beanie baby. like what am i going to do with this like what it's a stuffed animal what am i doing with this but the pop if it's a sports figure if it's a harry potter if it's i mean anybody could take that out of the box and put it on a shelf like it's not a a horrible thing to be like you know stuck with on your table matt shave your head right now <laughs> harry pooter I love they it. They did not have watched one one movie. I mean, come on. They actually I, made I uh, seen a single Harry Potter movie. What? You haven't watched one Harry Potter movie. I, it took me okay. a long time, but once my wife like sat me down and did like a marathon with like the first five or six of them, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. I'm good with it. I'll just Beanie... keep this on the screen for the rest of the uh, show. Beanie Babies were so popular that a guy came out with tag protectors. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that guy probably was a millionaire. He probably he bought an island a, in a the Caribbean. A acrylic thing to put around the Thai heart, and it was selling like hotcakes. They had two different kinds. They had, like, the sleeve that slid on, and then they had this, the, 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 the clamshell, the yeah. snap. <laughs> yeah. So you, you know when someone is making those up for something, it was really popular. Yeah. And then it died really fast. Yep. And and there's all the there's all the different like you know hard to find variants with the tag the different tag oh. things that are written on the tag and whatnot and well, you can never figure out which one is really worth something they're all worth nothing you know John, the Chris, you the Chris W version where it says you open the tag and it says this is garbage <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll write that, he'll write that in the tag for you I write that for everything John you have to put the commercials on our YouTube shorts for the old Beanie Baby commercials, like when they were being sold on QVC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll do that. And Don and West. It, it was I'll the same that. guy with that stupid, like, <clears throat> cigarette coffee voice. He's my favorite ever. I, I got 300 Beanie Babies. It's worth $1,800 for $700. <laughs> There's the Princess Diana Bear will pay for the whole collection by itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then did did you did we share this clip with each other recently? Is that why I watched yeah. it? We did. Yeah. yeah we and did. then then he's like he's he doesn't know the names of them at first, and he's making the other guy tell him the names. Yeah, so the guy's the opening the tags and looking at the name because he wants to yell about the fake the, the the beanie baby, but he doesn't know the name. So then he's like, "This one. What is this one? Rainbow. Rainbow. Oh!" <laughs> and he's screaming like as if he knew before. He's just making it up. It's so great. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> the the oh, guy, God. Don West, who used to sell the baseball cards and the knives, like, at 12 o'clock at night. 
Do you remember that guy? He went on like a shopping network and sold Beanie Babies too, and it was hilarious. And Opie and Anthony used to do impersonations of him and like crank call people with the Don <laughs> West voice, and it was so great. I think Brandon's quiet because Brandon was the guy that was buying the Beanie Babies from Don West. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when they were in Happy Meals, right? Yeah. Yeah, they put out like the small ones. Uh, yeah, the smaller ones, yeah. Yeah. Did, did, did one of you guys recommend watching a Beanie Baby documentary? Was that you, John, or am I making that up? The Pez Some, documentary. Pez, I didn't recommend that was good. it. That Pez, was, documentary Pez was awesome. one was really good. That was awesome. Somebody said something about it, and so I Googled it, and it's like right on Amazon. You can watch a, Bean, a Beanie Baby thing. And so I started watching it because I was curious how this guy started this company because he had like um, stuffed animals, and the company was failing. And so then he came up with this idea to do these Beanie Babies where he would put like pellets inside. And the friggin' thing took off, and he went like from almost being bankrupt to being like a billionaire yeah, in like then, two years. Because he would put out like a special animal, and then he would like retire it yeah. after a month or so, and people mm -hmm. would go nuts looking for like Flipper the Dolphin or something. And they said the one thing that he was really smart about is that uh, people would always like clamor for him to like unretire a retired one and reissue it, and he would never do it. He refused. Yeah. So they just kept going up in value, and so then it made the newer ones sell even more because people were like, oh, well, he's going to retire these eventually too. So he was really smart in that way, but he was... He, he had his own pyramid scheme. He was basically <laughs> like not good to the people that he worked with, though, and like his partners that even started the company with him. So I'm, I haven't finished it. I only got, like I don't know, 30, 40 minutes in, but it was pretty interesting. Shane, you are the king of not finishing. <laughs> Well, I mean, are you sitting there, like, going through an hour and a half Beanie Baby thing in one shot? Oh, I would. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you the link. See how I far you can make it. I want to watch two. Where, where are these? I watched the baseball you, card one. I'm telling you, guys, the baseball watch card the, one. the Pez one. Wait, the where Pez where one is, is this? The Pez one is really good. Pez one's really good. The Pez where one's a it? movie, though. Like, it's... it's. All right, how about this one? The Tetris one. Did you watch the Tetris one from uh, Apple TV? Okay. It's fantastic. Is this on, it's a movie, uh, though. It's a movie about the creator of Tetris. Is this on YouTube? No, it's it's from Apple TV. And then the the Pez that, one that, is kind of like that. It's like there's acting in it. Like there's they they have actors who like act out what really happened. Is there is that Pez one on YouTube or is that one on Apple TV? Which one's that one on? I think Where that's on Amazon. It? Amazon maybe yeah. But the Pez one? Yeah. It's uh, Netflix. Oh, is it on Netflix? Oh, yeah. it's oh. so, so really good. good. Yeah. Pez one's awesome. So then I'm sure it's on Apollo then too then. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. He was he was just like really smart and the guy flew to like Germany or Russia. Netherlands. Russia, Where? I think. Oh Russia. no, Russia yeah. Yeah. was Tetris. He would buy like all these freaking like Pez uh things for like five cents each and it would fly back and like sneak him in his luggage bag and it was like really, really good. He would buy Pez that were like only released in Europe and then sell them in the united states at shows like at conventions and make a killing that they're, they're like huge still like now like you think like vintage star wars and having like a like a mint like luke skywalker is huge some of these freaking like pez are like huge oh yeah yeah there, there's like many off. many pegs uh pez that are worth thousands of dollars yeah. like oh, yeah. not just a couple because they've been making them for how long i mean they've been making them for like since the 40s 70 actually, years now those actually came in boxes back then so a lot of them actually had like a little oh box. yeah yeah john yeah, those was are... um what was john 35 <laughs> when pez started right i was talking. I how john gets older and older each episode <laughs> i'm older than my dad right now <laughs> Hi, Brandon. <laughs> he's selling some <laughs> stuff we got the garage sale. Yeah, he's probably, uh, he's probably listening on Rogue Five right now. Yeah. I already did. I'm listening to my Beanie Babies. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see if they're worth any money. I Apparently, there's some that are they're still worth 
quite a bit, like the really rare ones, right? No. 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 There are some, but you have really, to have, like, the, the, the original release with, like, the certain couple uh, punctuation marks on the tag. The one is it's, worth a lot of money. It's the original eight or nine bears that came in certain colors with, like, the different shaped nose. I think the Princess Diana one's worth a lot of money. No, they're not. Princess Diana. They're it, not. I, that was mass produced. <laughs> So basically, what they're doing on on, on on like eBay, people were listing them, and then doing like buy it nows to show that it was like a fake sale and never paying for it, and they kept on doing that with Beanie Babies to like bring the price up. So people were thinking that like a Princess Diana bear was worth ten thousand dollars, and then they were trying to sell it on other areas to show on eBay that it was selling for ten grand, and it was all fake sales. Princess Diana nine dollars. Yeah, there you go. I had, or we we had, we don't even know where it came from. We had uh, an otter, it's an otter beanie baby. It's like on its back with a piece of green, like like a leaf in its paws. And so I'm like, well, before I give this to my kids to throw against the wall, let me just make sure it's not weirdly worth a hundred dollars or something. I look it up. There's one that sold for three thousand dollars. It's not real. And then I keep scrolling down, and there's one that sold for eight fifty. Yeah, so eight dollars and fifty that. cents. They, so they still, still do that with like, yeah, they still do that with like baseball cards and stuff too. Because uh, that I saw something. I saw a Pete Rose manager card where he's uh, here. We go uniform. <laughs> Pete Rose. Pete um, Rotani again. And somebody said, you know, they were selling, somebody was selling them for like $450 or $500 or something like that. And then you scroll down, there's one for $3. Yeah. And you know what a lot of people say is it's money laundering. Like, a lot of it is. S- yeah. s- put a beanie baby on there. Yep. Uh, my friend uh, Joe buys it for $3,000 and sends me the money and I send him his beanie baby. And it just got so, washed. Yeah. So this is right. They're not worth anything because no one's buying them. Yes. But, no one's buying beanie babies anymore. Mm-hmm. Maybe five or ten years from now, some of these yeah, people get so. kind of nostalgic, and now they want to recollect the Beanie Babies. What is, what's also interesting is is that when I was looking up this documentary, I found out that like two or three years ago only, they came out with a major movie about the Beanie Baby story, and it had Zach Galifianakis in it. I think as the main guy, as Ty. What? <laughs> Yeah, and and there's other major actors and actresses in it, and it's not on Apollo. I couldn't watch it, and I couldn't figure find where you would watch it because I, I figured I would check it out. Yeah, I never even heard of it. It came out like in the last three years. Oh, speaking of something like that, I know this is way off topic, but have you guys seen the new? <laughs> have you guys seen the new trailer for the new Jerry Seinfeld movie about the Pop Tarts? No, but I saw something about that. It is that like real? I thought it was be, fake AI or something. It's going to be hilarious. It's real? Yeah, it's real. Chris hates Jerry Seinfeld. I don't like him. Hate oh, love him. Seinfeld. It looks like it's going to be hilarious. Do you Anything like Pop Tarts? I love Seinfeld. I love no, all of no. Do you watch I was, Curb? Um, I did, but I, I, was, I was more of a um, everybody loves Raymond guy. Yeah, honestly. I watched that. I don't know why. I liked it more. I never got into Seinfeld. Ever. Yeah, but you, you don't have to watch one ever. or the other. I know, but I just I could never get into it. I just never thought it was funny or good. Seinfeld, I die laughing. Seinfeld's it so great. So yeah, it's funny. It's the best TV show ever. Yeah. It's pretty good. Just never got it. Yeah. Twilight Zone is way better in my books. <laughs> I love Seinfeld. Seinfeld's the best. What do you for everybody who's in the in the chat still? What are you thinking um, about the the last season of Curb here? I'm hoping it's not really the last season. Maybe he'll come back in a couple years. Uh, HBO's leaving the door open. I have not seen the finale yet, so don't ruin the finale for me. But just in general, the season's been pretty great. I mean, it, it, you know, it's been on for 12 years, and it's still as good as ever, I think. It's only been, been a lot of catching up to do. Wow, I feel like well, it's, it's been like, it's been 20, it's been 20 something years, I think. Yeah, because they took a hiatus. But they only do, but he only puts out a season. Maybe the first few were kind of every year, but for the last five or seven y- seasons, it's only come out every two or three years. Oh, okay, gotcha. gotcha. That's why. So it's been a long span, but uh, the season is hilarious. It's really funny. JB Smooth is so good. 
Um, it's smooth. Smooth. With a V. Yeah. Do you guys remember when Beanie Babies, going back to them, when there was a story that was being written that the pellets inside were not really plastic pellets, <laughs> that they were like spider eggs? And like, <laughs> I think I do remember that. And they were starting to hatch and like they were like corroding your house or something with spiders or some shit. I do. I think I do oh, remember yeah. that. Be in your bed. Yeah. Yeah. The Beanie Bubble. That's the name of the movie. Available for free on. It's free somewhere. Okay. Tubi. Tubi. <laughs> oh, everything's yeah. free. Yeah. It's, oh. it's, it's, uh, who is it? Zach Galifianakis. Um, Beanie Bubble. Um, okay, Shane, we'll wait for you. <laughs> I'm looking for the actors. Who is it? Take your time, Shane. That's right. Sarah oh. Snook from. Um, oh, yeah. From. Uh, um, yeah, what the hell is the HBO movie? Snooky? No, the HBO movie is fantastic. What the hell Where's is Where's the beach? <laughs> uh, succession. She's the redhead in Succession, the, the, the daughter. Uh, okay. She's yeah. in it. Elizabeth Banks is in it. <clears throat> but like, you know, uh, I don't know who, you know, there's not a ton of, you know, A-listers in it, but like, you know, Elizabeth Banks and Zach Galifianakis and then the the girl from uh, Succession. It's like a legit movie. I never even heard about it. See? Jason knows. Correct. It came out it came out last summer. <laughs> it came out 6 months ago. If you ask Charles right now and said, <laughs> it's Chewbacca. Who played Chewbacca? Was it Sarah <laughs> Snook or Charles? I have no idea. No, I know the guy's name. It's um, Sarah Snook. You. We donated money to him. Daniel. Um, Peter. Yeah, Daniel. I don't know. I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> <laughs> we donated money to him, though. I like when John says it. Go, on, John. <laughs> Peter Mayhew. Hey, Peter go. Mayhew. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I think it's time to wrap it up, guys. I think so. I think Brandon's got some more rummaging to do. I think I'm going to go sell some more mocks on the page. <laughs> How is the mock sale going? Yeah, actually, so just to update everybody, <laughs> I only listed about, I think, 34 of them today. And That's three, one tenth. And only yeah. 366 of them. Oh, Jesus. my God. And because you want to know why everyone keeps just like everyone keeps messaging me with a zillion questions and it's impossible to do the sales, do the invoices and then answer everybody's questions because mm -hmm. someone will be like, hey, can you send me pictures? And they're like name nine cards. And I'm just like, no, like I, I mm. can't. So that's actually what's been holding me back is all the messages right now. But yeah, I, I still have three hundred and. 30 more yes. to go they is it is it, it messages like can you do this or is it messages about the cards about the pieces it's messages about everything you know are, are you to, are you to the point where you might say on the page uh you know i can't i can't answer as many questions as i'm receiving on these mocks i'm going to try to be as descriptive as i can and you know first claim gets it well everyone wants me to sell early they want me to sell privately which you guys know i'm a stickler for that I you don't do it I will not do it. I don't care if you're my brother. I don't care if your name's John Ruler. I, everything gets listed Rolo. on the page. Uh, Rolo. Ruler. Ruler. No, Rolo. Rolo. And people, so people actually get like really, really mad about that. Like they actually get like very angry. And I'm just like, I always found it weird how mad they get at me because I just won't sell something early. And I'm like, no, you have to claim it on the page like everyone else is doing. No one is better than one another. Everyone else takes the time out of their day to check Facebook. That's what you got to do. And you're and, just giving like, if, patrons, you're giving them a, like, here's what's about to come up. Yes. So the and patrons then, already know beforehand. Yeah, check like, it out on Patreon. You'll see what, you'll, you can get pictures and, and quotes or, or more info on all the mocks and whatever comes up on Patreon. So that's the thing. Patreon. It's like, so sign up for Patreon so you can see the stuff early and ask questions then. When I right. like whenever I list a mock, people will take the time, they read it, you know, they read the whole thing, and then I put like 34 pictures up. By the time they go back to say whether claim or not, it's already been claimed. And that's and, and, and it's been claimed because the people on Patreon already know 
what they're looking at, what the price is, and they already know everything about it. Yeah. So yeah. for them, it, people... you know, so for them, it's great. So yeah, just like with anything else on the sales page, if you post something and then you have a question about it, it's going to be gone before you get your answer usually. Always. Yeah. So yeah, you don't want to wait Patreon on, so. so you can get the description ahead and, and, of time and you'll know what you're claiming and you won't have to ask questions when it shows up. Right. And we don't do, you know, claim pending question. We don't do that. So No, sir. No, you it's know. the first actual claim. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's not claim pending payment plan. It's just claim. That's it. Like Right. So I'll tell you, you, Patreon, you can watch the video and you can say, "Hey, I want that I want that power of the force uh ATAT -AT driver. Um, will you do a payment plan on it when it comes up? And then whenever it pops up, you can just hit claim it. You've already taken care of all that other stuff Correct. through Patreon by asking questions of Chris. Yeah, you know, but it's one of those knows. things where, like, you see the photos of them, and then, like, you want a certain figure. You don't want, you know, someone else messaging Chris and then him him selling it like right behind your back, like. Yeah. It has to be fair for everybody, yeah. so you have to wait for it to be listed. It's fair for everybody then, because and, and that's why even like the Patreon members, like they'll be like, "Okay, I want it. I'll buy it right now." And I'm like, "No, no, no. You don't understand. Like, you yeah. still can't. You still can't buy it early. No, you still have to you go ask on me the all page kinds of questions and list it. Because at the end of the day, we have three thousand people on the page, and the page is for three thousand people. It's yeah. not for fifty. It's not for a hundred. It's for everybody." So you so try and be just as... get, yeah, just ask your questions there. Correct. Get your pictures there. That way, when it comes up, you don't have to sit there and read it. You know what it is and just claim it. Yeah, and, and I'm super appreciative of all the people that you know support our Patreon. You know, support this channel through Patreon, of course. But one of the one of the best parts about it is is the previews of the sales that go up. Yeah. Listen, you're not getting previews on Patreon of, you know. Of prune face, a loose prune face. Okay, you're not getting previews of stuff that you can really get in a lot of places. He's he's getting he's giving you previews of graded mocks. You know, three hundred something graded mocks. Um, you know, stuff that's hard to find. Uh, Chris's prices are very very fair. I mean, I think everybody can agree on that. You know, compared to what you see in these other groups. So go go on to Patreon. For, for for five bucks or something, you can become a, a supporter of the of the channel, and uh, and get those previews. You know, it's worth it. And other stuff. And there's yeah, also so uh, you get previews of our videos as yeah. well. You get previews of all of our episodes uh, at least you know two days early or so, and we put up episodes where you know we don't we don't watch what we say and stuff. You know. It's an adult episode, and we put those up after dark uh, for just Patreon. If you if you like the channel, go get some more uh, episodes of ours. Yeah, so, that's really is on there, so, so check it out. Lots of stuff at, going on. At the end of the day, it's it's all about supporting the podcast. It's not about the sales page. It's about supporting the podcast. It's just an extra incentive to get people on, because I think we would all agree in the long run we're all about the podcast and not really about the sales page. The sales page comes after the podcast, at least in my mind it does. And mm -hmm. and the sales page is my job, and I'm the one that's even saying that the podcast comes first. Yeah. So yeah, and all the all the money from <laughs> Patreon goes to support, you know, the podcast and the microphones and the software that we use. It's not free, you know. It costs, yeah. you know, five six hundred dollars a year for the just for the software alone. So which is crazy. Um, you know, upgrading cameras and, and also to, to help with our live streams. And then when we do live events as well, you know, once we get together with some people at the conventions and stuff like that. So it helps get us uh, where we need to be to hang out with everybody and do the podcast live there for everybody. So, yeah. Next is uh, maybe uh, lighting for John. That uh, would be great. Yeah. <laughs> is my lighting still bad? If we can shoot. If we can chip in and get and, and get a light for John, like a little halo <laughs> thing above his head, maybe five bucks. I don't know. A headlamp. It looks like a you're in a headlamp. It looks like you're in the Wampa Cave, and we only see your teeth. That's it. 
Yeah, his teeth are so white. I'm so r jealous. Like, like ridiculously white. So when he was having that, um, when he was having like that diarrhea, what was it? Like it was a hernia or something? What? Charlie, Charlie was? When you went flying back in your chair and you were grabbing your groin or whatever, it, that's what it looked like. My hands You were I'll doing this. Down. And his teeth were so white. I was like mesmerized. We should just chip in and buy him one of those miner's helmet with like a light on it. And then that's what he should wear during the show. Hey, real, real quick before we go, though. Yeah. Really good question. I think it's a very good question for Chris to address. Chris. That's so that's actually my goal. My goal is to sell the items as fast as possible because, believe it or not, there's more already coming in and on the way in that I'm not a store. So I don't need to charge four hundred dollars for a four hundred dollar item because there's no overhead i i don't have to pay anything i'm at, i'm out of my house so if i can sell it for 325 350 300 i would rather do that because i want it in and out as fast as possible so the next collection can come in and i actually have room to work it doesn't have, have room for 16 heads i don't even have room for lily letty heads right now right so <laughs> but again i'm pricing out 366 of these things I'm never going to be perfect on all of them. It's just right. impossible. And and the way prices have been on vintage, it's like a roller coaster right now. Two weeks ago, prices were like back on the rise on eBay. Like when I'm going to tell you, like when I was looking at the prices, I couldn't believe Luke Stormtrooper and Yak Face and pop-ups. They all like went through the roof again. And I'm just like, how do you keep track of this? Like you can't keep track. So yeah. now they're back down a little bit though. It's coming yeah, back it's down already. Down and that's what I mean. Like I've seen them for like I've seen some yak faces for three twenty five. Yeah, but look, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but rub rubbed all up though and stuff. Mm. Yeah, the ones on eBay. I mean, no, actually, no. Oh, Tom's on eBay. Right. The There's weird thing on ones. eBay is like buy it nows are still really good for high prices, but if you do like an auction, you'll yeah. see like an auction sometimes end. There'll be twenty bids, and it's like half the value of the figure or half the value of the item. Yeah. Well, Chris, you've said this before that. It's kind of just to piggyback on what you just said. Uh, you don't you don't necessarily price them. First off, you don't think the way that a lot of other people think. You don't think how much can I get for this? That's no, not your thinking. I don't care about that. You know what you paid for it. Uh, you you paid a fair price in a larger lot for somebody who doesn't have to do any work. You know the person you're buying from, and then you figure out what you want to make. You know, like a percentage wise or whatever. Whatever you're happy with. Per piece and that's what you price it at so oh, while it might be a 400 dollar item 340 dollars might be the sweet sweet spot for you to sell it quickly and like i said that's my goal i want the stuff in and out as fast as possible yeah yeah and for anybody who doesn't believe oh. that that you know he doesn't treat everybody the same way i mean he sells stuff he sells lily letty card backs for leia bosch that he knows i don't have and he puts it right on the page and he just laughs. He laughs right, right in my right. face. So, Because once you start to lean one way and start favoring others, when does it stop? It doesn't stop. So, you can't keep track of what everybody Jane. likes. Jane. No. So in my head, it's everyone's fair. Everything's listed. That's it. Like, Jane, I listed you don't need a it. I know. I listed, like, I, I listed a Yoda card back. It was like a Letty card back. And even Brandon was like, are you serious right now? He was like, you didn't show me this? I go, no. Yes. Yeah. On the page. I, and, I, and I even said to Brandon at that time, I go, we're on a podcast with him. Like, doesn't he know? Like, we show every week our focus. Like, he knows what we collect. And he's like, nah, he doesn't care. He just wants to sell this well, stuff. Shane, I, the other reason is, is because he doesn't want you collecting any more garbage. I know. It's true. He's saving me. <laughs> he's not saving you, though. He needs to get into your house and tell you what's, what it's like. All right. Boxes and boxes of stuff. All right, boys. I think that's going to do it for another live episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. We've still got a pretty good crowd here. Oh, hey. Yeah, oh. we do still have a pretty good crowd. While we have the yeah. crowd, we're going to just real quickly. Our theme song is by Gum. Gum. Guns Band. There's the Chattanooga logo. They're in Texas this week, so if you check them out, oh, the 16th oh, wow. they're in Austin, Texas, the 17th they're in San Antonio, the 18th they're in Dallas, the 19th they're in Houston. So if you're listening to us, this is their song. You want to crank it up a little bit? Better yeah. come to San Diego. I know, they're going to be out in California again. Hopefully.
definitely involved in. Go check them out. And who who's in that band? My son. Nice. No, he's the lead vocalist. Adam Chitwood. So, yeah. Your son is Adam Chitwood? <laughs> oh, you're both bald. <laughs> well, Drew's bald too. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Right there from last night. Nice. Oh yeah. How do we uh, get how do we get yeah. John in there so we can see? Put it right That's up to the camera. Looks like he's mauling somebody. John's still trying to figure out how to use a phone. <laughs> Remember when we were at IC the last time and he had the flip phone? Yeah. When, I, when I first met John, I had to beep him from the coin. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. We beeped John and said, Would you mind going behind the 7 Eleven and picking up Brandon? <laughs> he, he's at his he's at his uh, hotel room behind the dumpster. Could you pick him up? <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It was a fun time. We appreciate all the questions and comments. Please go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash 5 Toys. The link is down there in the description. Please support the show. Get all the benefits we were just talking about. And we will see you next time on 5 Idiots Talking Toys. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.